and gentlemen, the maxed out Amiga skin. Oh my gosh, will look absolutely awesome. And it is day two of season four in Fortnite Battle Royale. And today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite things that has been added in with this brand new season. The Epic Games have just done an amazing job of listening to us, listening to the community's feedback and implementing absolutely amazing new features. So as we know, in season four, there are two like main skins. Basically, we've got the awesome blue colored superhero. And we've also got the tier 100, which we've unlocked, Omega Dark black and orange skin which looks absolutely amazing now the really cool thing about these skins is that they can actually be upgraded they can actually get armor pieces added to them and they can look more and more badass as you rank up during your progress in season four which is absolutely amazing prior to this was absolutely no incentive to rank up it was just a cool number that you had i finished last season on rank 90 but got nothing for it and they listened to us and have added in unlocked which makes your character look even better. There's also a great way when you're in game to see just how much any other players in the lobby or in game have unlocked for their character as well, give you a better idea of their skill level. So in this video, I'm very close to unlocking my very first armor piece for the Omega tier 100 skin. And we're gonna go and try and get a victory royale and also unlock that piece. On top of that, I've worked with an awesome designer who has put together and created a concept image that will show how the Amiga skin would look if you got all the way up to max rank and unlocked all of the armor for him so you can see just how badass it would look with every single piece of armor unlocked on the Amiga skin. But just before we take a look at the fully maxed out upgraded Amiga skin for today's video, since I'm using the sort of, I like to consider him to be like the bad super villain basically, and the blue skin to be like the superhero, the good guy. So to tie in with the fact that we're going to be using the super villain, I'm going to be landing at a brand new spot that I didn't put in yesterday's secret chest video because I wanted to save it for his own video today. And it's basically its own uh, villainous epic base built into the side of a mountain, which a lot of you guys have found already, and it looks amazing. So. As we can see here in the replay mode, it's based like a skull-shaped super base hidden into the island, very near Snobby Shores. It actually has its own rocket inside the base as well. I'm not sure if that's going to detonate or launch or, or progress at all throughout season four, but it's certainly an amazing new spot with lots of awesome chests. It's got all of these like villainous banners around as well, and we're going to be exploring that and starting off today's game in that brand new location because I know a lot of you guys wanted me to come cover it so that's going to be awesome but back to the amiga skin so this is what it looks like when it is first unlocked when it's completely basic a lot of people were saying when the skins and the tiers were revealed for season four that both of the characters didn't look that cool it just looked like they're wearing like a tight outfit and were pretending to be some sort of superhero until we realized it could be upgraded so these are all of the upgrades you can see on screen here they go all the way up to the end and you can also get yourself an awesome pickaxe as well to fully look the part and look like the ultimate super villain in Fortnite Battle Royale. So, having worked with my awesome designer, if we compare now the basic skin, this is what it should look like once it's fully upgraded. All the armor pieces are on there and it is fully glowing. Ladies and gentlemen, the maxed out Amiga skin. Oh my gosh, will look absolutely awesome. Now, obviously with that last unlock being at rank 80, no one is there yet. I know I'll reach it eventually, but I'm definitely not reaching it two days after season four has come out. Instead of going for the very first unlock for the Amiga skin, which is the chest piece. We're going to start at that brand new location I talked about, built into the side of the mountain. We're going for that victory royale, and we'll come back afterwards and we'll take a look at what that brand new chest piece actually looks like in action for our very first unlock. Guys, if you're excited, give it a big fat thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the fully maxed out Amiga skin down below in the comment section. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Make sure you subscribe for daily awesome Fortnite videos and and without further ado, guys, let's jump into the action, land in that new location, and upgrade our Amiga skin. Look at this, guys. This is the coolest face I've ever seen. A freaking rocket st sticking out his head. And only pistols and a med kit. I think we have... 
Okay, these guys are scared. Maybe they don't know about the secret space. Can we get a hit on any of them? Nah, well, it was way well, probably done like 10 damage with a drop off. I need that blue AR because someone else has tried to break into my secret base, which I do not appreciate. Yes, I'm rocking the awesome lunchbox, pink lunchbox backpack. It's gotta be done. Oh. This. That was definitely their first time in this phase. I can't lie, I haven't landed a lot. I've landed here, I think, a few times now. But if you if you don't know your way around, it is so freaking confusing and so easy to get lost. It is a maze of secret um, underground bases, chests, and uh, it's honestly... Oh, ho, ho! Chug, chug. Let's go, baby. That's going to be the perfect way to get us all the way up to max shield. Look at this, though. Whilst we chug, this is a giant rocket potentially ready to launch in the middle of a freaking mountain. Now, there is these, like, evil symbols. I say evil symbols, but it looks like a bad base symbol or, or some sort of, like, evil corporation symbol. Be really interesting to see if this base changes or evolves or gets, you know, if a rocket moves or anything at all over the course of season four. And this is like the mainframe, maybe, of all the servers. God, that sounds like you're breaking something very important when you smash that. But there's loads of extra floors to this as well. You can go all the way up here. Um, you can go all the way to the top of the rocket as well. Don't really know why there's like an emptied out swimming pool. Maybe, I actually have no idea for that one. It just looks kind of creepy, to be honest with you. Spare shield as well. And I've actually never been, fun fact, never been to this chest. And you can actually get up the top as well. And, uh, okay, great job, Ali. Rip chest. It's not needed, don't worry. It wasn't a necessity. I don't want to know where this goes, though. Ah, so you can come in from the top, a little sneaky, sneaky entrance. I like it. I like it a lot. You've got a rocket right at the top here. You can obviously fall down into the base as well. We don't need any of the bandages. Um, and you can actually go inside the little eyes here for some bedrooms, which is very, very cool. But I want to go and try and make some headway on those two guys that were going to snobby shores. Because I love it. I love this place. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely awesome. But... When there's only one person landing there and you are on the edge of the map, we gotta find some more action. So, depending on how this game goes, I'm very close to getting my very first upgradable piece for um, the Amiga skin. I've got maybe one or two already for the other blue skin. The name I just cannot remember. It's like Riptide or something. I can't remember, but uh, if you guys wanna see um, my upgraded skin for the other one as well, do let me know. I've seen some pieces being put down here. Another backup shield would be awesome. Um, and a better sniper would definitely be appreciated as well. But let me know what you guys are thinking of season four so far. Um, I'm absolutely loving just the reason to grind. I love any reason to uh, play a game even more. Uh, it just means that even if you get a loss or even if something doesn't go too well, at least you're backing up and your rank's going up. You're like, you know what? I may not have won that game, or may not have been too particularly good, but at least you've gone ahead and gotten yourself just that little bit closer to get yourself some awesome upgrades. Oh, you see that? I've spotted him! He's in the house! He's breaking maybe a car or something inside the, um, inside the back of the shed. There were two people I saw come over here. Don't know if there's still going to be two people left. Running out of materials here. He's definitely got a chest. He's definitely got a chest. Is there one in here? There is! He's missed the roof chest! So, I'm actually using, like, basically, you can get a uh, official, like, branded pickaxe for both of the skins in Season 4. I'm using, and I can't even remember how I got it, maybe it was in the store, or I can't remember. But, this is, like, a knockoff version, and goes quite well with the incomplete, the incomplete skin I've got going on, uh, of the pickaxe. It's got the exact same orange glow, I'm not sure if it's meant to be a part of it or not. But it is literally identical, and it goes so well with it. I love it. So this is my knockoff um, pickaxe for the moment, whilst I try and get the final fully-fledged one. If he's not over here, he's got to be. It would be the final place we check, wouldn't it? There he is! I say there he is. He's underground. I can't actually see him yet. <clears throat> Green tactical. Thank you so much. I'm going to surprise this guy. He's going to have no idea. I'm coming! Just because you're underground, don't think you're safe, buddy. 
He's scared. He ain't moving. He ain't moving. This is why I need some grenades. There he is. Should I just throw myself down? Let's do it. Jeez, boy! Jeez, man, he's dealing some hefty damage. Oh, loads of minis, though. Couldn't ask me. I'd expect to find someone having looted the whole of Snobby to have loads of minis. Ring isn't too far either, and thank God it isn't because it's all been coming in whilst we've been exploring the underground base and everything. Another sniper, and a blue tactical, and another med kit. I'm, I'm gonna need that, so thank you so much. Let's just get our sneaky way out of here and jump out nice and quickly. So, guys. As always, I'd love to go for some double digits. Um, the only thing I'd say and to expect, and we've seen it already really, is with the big dusty divot on the other side of the map. Um, I mean, I really have not been landing outside a dusty divot at all, but I'd expect, and for what we've seen so far, to not get too much action until sort of later game. We got two kills already, then we got one inside the little evil base, which is the main thing. I'm happy about that. Um, but we st should start seeing some more action as the rings start going in now. Dusty Divot, I don't know about you guys, but when it goes right, it goes so right. Um, I was just coming out of Dusty Divot yesterday with like 8, 9, 10 kills, going into top 20 with like 10 kills. I was like, this is amazing! Um, and then just getting one banged to the head with attack shotgun, as you guys will have seen yesterday, which is just disgusting. So annoyed, so, so annoyed. But it looks out pretty well, and I actually can't wait to see what the... Um, the official chess piece looks like on this guy. Can your sniper bullet? No. Okay. That I feel like I definitely should have hit, but there is um, a limited distance to how far bullets can travel in Fortnite. Once it goes past a certain like uh, range, it just won't appear in game. So worth noting. Anything good? Okay. Impulses. I like it. Dusty Divot's about to be pushed out. That's what we like to see. Gonna leave that alone. Let's let's take a quick glance past Tilted. I reckon Tilted would be easy loot. I don't think it's... You hear that? You know where? You know, it could be easy loot. Ooh, got a minigun or an LMG going on there and a rifle. I think that person may have just been shot down. Where are you guys? Leave some gunfights for me. Oh, they're still fighting. There they are, there they are. Chill, chill, chill. No, he's gone to kill. Hopefully he hasn't seen me. Let's go. Let's go! Beautiful snipe. Thank you so much. Nah, I just literally waiting for him to stand still. It's smart sometimes. Just to, especially when there's that much loot. You're probably going to stand still at some point. Even if it's just to put minis on or something. And there's legendary stuff. Maybe the... Oh, maybe he was firing a minigun instead. Um, what else we got? Honestly, not great stuff. More minis will be useful though. Um, and I'm struggling with item management so much at the moment. Do I go sniper or do I go grenade launcher? That's the question. The next ring's a bit mountainous. Whenever it's on this left side of the map, or Naughty Elephant Square Ward, west side of the map, that's when, honestly, having a sniper is probably more worthwhile. But at the same time, I like to be aggressive. 30 freaking grenades. I mean, ooh. I'm definitely going to get aggressive on people's bases, that's for sure. I'm so glad his skin's upgradable, man. Look at it. It's literally like he's wearing just like a Lycra glow-in-the-dark swimsuit or something. Can't wait to see it with all the pieces on. As I said, like, it's going to be a cool way as well to, like, gauge enemies. Like, you could see a John Wick at the end of Season 3. And with how common Tier 100 was with the Battle Pass, honestly, most John Wicks weren't even that great at the end of Season 3. But now, if you see the skin, and you see the skin upgraded, you at least know they've played a lot of the game. Woohoo! Adrian! Sorry, buddy. Looks like you've got a legendary something for me. Please be a legendary scar. That'd be absolutely... Oh, my God. Don't snipe me now, please. No, don't fall in the hole! That is the slowest falling weapon I have ever seen. I do think I got shot... From inside one of the... Let's see if you've got anything more. Any rockets? Okay, that looks good to me. I think I got shot from inside that... Oh, pardon me. Inside that building. Can't lie. Oh, something's underneath me. You hear that? Someone is literally, like, sneak walking up to my base. 
And a storm's coming in. There, there's someone. That's not the person under my base. Come on. I may have to leave him. It's a bush! What the heck? I have not seen a wild bushwalkie in ages. Jeez. I don't know what it is my shotgun shots in the moment, but I was never good with shotguns in Call of Duty. But oh! Double no scope scar headshot. Another wild, wild Wookie. Let's get this guy first. Easy, easy, easy. No, the other guy died in the storm. No, he was so close. You know what? I think that guy hit him with his sniper. And um, knocked him down to just such little health as Storm took him out at the end. That could have been another kill. Oh, man. Well, coming out tilted, obviously a lot of action there. But we're looking not too bad. We're not going to have any med kits left after this, unfortunately. But hey-ho, it's all good. It's all good, baby. Seven kills, eight people left. Looks like we're going to be heading towards um, Pleasant Park. And there's definitely going to be some big mountains. But hey, at least I've got space for a sniper now. If I do find one on the back of someone. Let's see, he's got a um got a pump shotgun down there. Nice. Oh, I don't think he was holding any snipers. Nah. Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna keep that slot free just in case I need to pick something up real quickly. Seven people left, seven kills to our name. The numbers are matching. Six potential targets left. We could still get a 13 kill game. Slow start, but I, I didn't expect much more, to be honest with you, from um, where we were landing. Sometimes it's quite hectic if you land there and it's one of the first places to come off the battle bus. And people do know the location. But we're looking good. We're looking good. There is definitely one big mountain up here. Maybe worth me scaling it, but there's also a supply drop. Alright, goals from the supply drop. Full shield and a legendary bolt. I was going to say an RPG, but you know what? I don't even want one. People are so good at deflecting RPGs at the moment. I actually prefer grenade launchers a lot of the time. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. Oh, it's it's neither. Okay, well we we did. I didn't specify the legendary snipers. That was my own fault. We got a legendary. Um, we got a legendary semi auto. We'll have to take it. Not the best in the world, but honestly, better than nothing at all. Two people are chilling. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you're enjoying uh, what you're seeing so far. Getting uh, a look at the new skin. Probably why they're watching. Maybe the new skin. I don't know. Do you guys see many of this skin around? I don't think I do, to be honest with you. So yeah, it probably is quite new to them. All right, we are at the highest point. Come on. Come on. Yo! Why do I always get so lucky with these chests on mountains? I swear whenever I come up to these mountains endgame... The chest has never been looted. If you're the first one up there, the chest has never been looted. All right. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Spray paints, by the way. One of the coolest additions. Oh, nasty snipe. Jeez, down to five people already. We want to get these double digits, guys, so we've got to get aggressive on them. That's a 80-meter snipe. Can't see. That's a freaking... Oh, there we go. Close. Oh, two bases being built. They're about to go into the storm. They can't hang around for that long. They're going to get stuck in it for sure. Yep. Damn. Everyone's a keen builder nowadays. You do not see anyone that doesn't like... Oh, what the hell? She's on a mission. Oh, toe shot. That was a solid like 106 damage though. Come on. If that tree wasn't in the way, that would be mine! God damn it. Oh, that, that tree's just screwing me over. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to. I don't have a launch pad. I'm gonna have to get aggressive on these guys. I need both the kills. Can't be fumbling around by leave Oh, someone's been shotgunned. That's probably them over there. Oh, hopefully I can clean this up. We need all these remaining kills if we wanna do this. We can do it!
Positive mental attitude, guys. We got this. Where's this last person? I think he's just walled himself in. I think it, I think um whoever's coming alive out of that. Oh, did you see that grenade bounce? It bounced at such an angle because of the, the hill. Look at this. That's a GG in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And perfectly launched over the wall he built and exploded. I feel bad, man. That is rough. That is really rough. Um, I'm gonna- I'm, I don't know if I want the RP- I, I've literally just said that your boy prefers the grenade launcher over the RPG. Um, and you know what? I, I've been getting to a lot of situations, um, especially today. It does paint on the ground. Jeez, sprays are amazing, man. Epic games. You are awesome. Um, I've been getting to a lot of, like, 1v1s or just- just end games where the RPG just doesn't do- If anything, I've just been killing myself with the RPG as people are, like, building up on me or- or I'm trying to, like, reaction shoot at them. And if people are getting really aggressive, the best thing about it is that if you kill their base and you knock their base down, um, then they- they will often fall onto another grenade which is just sitting at the bottom, waiting. Um, that's what I've found. It works really well, so quick building can't always sell, save you against this. I'm gonna claim this as my base here. Let's turn this into my new evil base hideout. Nowhere near as impressive, but still should look kind of fancy. I mean, as fancy as you can get with this basic building, to be honest with you. I'm getting better at putting that corner piece in now, thank goodness. There we go, and that one's still left. It's all good. Woo! Okay, two players remaining. You see so many portal forts around at the moment because one of the weekly challenges is use a portal fort. And guess what? Honestly, most people, as soon as they find them, just throw them. Let's get rid of this. Let's make it look like a proper base. There we go. If it's not connected to anything, it just breaks. So, perfecto. Um, we're waiting for two more players. I don't know where they are. Storm's still coming in. I honestly, 65 grenades. I expect these guys to be chilling in a base, to be honest with you. Not in the sky base. Best dance in the game. Even Claire admits it is a dirty tune and it is an amazing dance. Have to show it off to her. <laughs> 65 grenades. I reckon I should try and flatten, actually, because of the next ring. I reckon we could probably flatten, like, the houses that are left here. And if they are hiding in them... Hopefully, it's going to expose them. I mean, these guys have been ridiculously quiet. I don't know if we've got two big fat noobs left. Or just two people that are used to playing it super slow and getting a W at last minute. But these guys do not want to show themselves. Come on, guys. I need to unlock the back bling. I saw it's not a back bling at all. It's like an armor upgrade piece. Even better. And you guys just chilling around being silent sneaky snakes ain't going to help. Out you come. We get it in the window. In fact, quite went in. Ooh, loot over there. I think that's recent loot, though. Come on, out you come. These are the two big houses that could be left. Even then, I don't think they could be left, to be honest with you. If they're hiding in the underground. They're definitely going to be dead. Come on. Two more over there. These guys definitely know where I am, though, that's for sure. Out you come, guys. Come on, give me a kill. Nothing. Ah. Well, I was hoping that'd get me an easy kill there. This is it. They've got to come in. We're about to see them for sure. Let's upgrade this bad boy. There's going to be an evil super villain base. It needs to be super, super reinforced. Just in case they do have RPGs, you know what I mean? Oh, none of that, please. Thank you very much. Where are you hiding? They've probably seen the tier 100 skin in top of, on top of this little base and they're not having it at all. Oh, thought someone was building on me. That's my own one. Maybe there's someone underneath me literally not moving. Fair play if there is. Mm. Oh my god. Someone's RPG. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh my god, they're both here. Repeat, they are both here. It's got an RPG. That is quite scary. People are being hit. People are being hit. Let me get involved. Let me get involved. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. One kill down. 
Just need the other one. This guy with an RPG, though, is really scary. No, thank you. Well, Where's he gone? He's fallen down. He must have fallen down. Where is he? Can't hear him. He must have fallen. I think... Is he exploded? He's not. He's alive. He hasn't exploded himself. Oh, I heard a reload. Heard a reload. I should. I need to push this. He must be weak. He must be weak. I can hear him. There he is. Oh, damn it! Everyone's on it with the building hype today. I do not want this guy to RPG me. Oh god. Just block, 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 block. Never know. May. May fail. What? I literally just... Why did it... Bro. Bro. Well done, buddy. All right. That should have been a 10 kill win. I think he must have RPG'd himself when he fell down as well. But he blew himself up. But the main thing is now, guys, fingers crossed we should have unlocked... The brand new upgraded piece for the armor. Let's take a look. Here it is, guys. We've unlocked it. It has told us it is ready to apply. Let's put it on and see what it looks like. All right, guys. Here is the Omega skin. If we jump in, this is the basic skin. Literally what we've just been using. But you'll notice the change style option down below in the right-hand corner. If I click this bottom, uh, bottom button, it will apply the new armor. So let's give it a go. Yo! Look! Yo, look at that! The little spikes at the back. Even more parts of it glowing. That looks like he's just got like 10 layers of Kevlar armor put onto him. That is an awesome upgrade. That's only one of many. Guys, I hope you're excited for upgradable armors in Fortnite. If you enjoyed this, give it a big fat thumbs up. Let me know how your progress is going currently in Season 4. Make sure you stay tuned for another video tomorrow. Every single day we've got Fortnite videos. You can see more from me right now in my playlist where every single one of my videos is. So thank you so much for watching. First part of your Amiga skin has been upgraded. And there'll only be more coming soon. And I'll see you then.